Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Viatech REO2G Renew It Pro Charger. So, uh, for a while there, there's these claims kind of uh, alkaline battery recharger and reconditioner units. I believe these Viatech units were actually the big culprits to that. They are by far the most popular one. I've actually seen a few of these in. In junk stores and I decided to pick one up obviously what caught my eye I had no idea why I first did it but it has this switch obviously nickel cadmium nickel metal hydride I thought that was pretty standard then it had this alk or alkaline mode well upon doing testing and research and that kind of stuff you can, these chargers can put a little bit of energy back into an alkaline battery but as most of you know alkaline batteries do not take charges like a normal rechargeable battery and they were really a kind of a gimmick these things are still sold on Amazon this exact unit sellers are asking 80 bucks for totally outrageous price never buy this thing for anything you, you I wouldn't buy I would pay 10 bucks for this or get a Tenergy charger or something like that but these things are really cheesy definitely do not buy them even though it does look uh, kind of interesting it is a automatic uh, reconditioning so sometimes under certain conditions it will decide that it wants to discharge the battery it does have this LCD display it is four independent banks actually five because it does have a nine volt bank the lights for the normal banks as we can see are red here it has a power light it has a separate light for the nine volt and I do like that it can charge the nine volt while you're simultaneously using the remaining bays at least when you have double A's or triple A's in there it has this little cheesy lid that will easily you know break off Kind of hard to insert the batteries because you have to pull these tabs back and then drop the battery in there. Oh, and about the status lights, it just goes on and off. It's just a red light that turns off when the 9 volts done charging. But it is a little bit better on these 4 cells because it includes both red uh, dual color LEDs. So these will turn green when it is fully charged and actually turn orange when it's in its discharge mode. That's in addition to having an LCD display. So I thought that was kind of neat. It has different things. They'll say OK or Dis, uh, various terms at the top of the display there. Anyway, I think those Energizer chargers I had, I had reviewed a little earlier are really much better than one of these. The one thing that I can say about this charger is the way they set up the electronics in order for it to be attempt to recharge an alkaline battery and really not have it just cause fires is it's a super voltage sensitive and what it's really pretty strange because you can put a battery in this charger for maybe 10 minutes pull it out and if you put it right back in immediately it'll think it's all the way charged i've actually had these charged up or charging for a little bit i'm going to go ahead and pull them out and see if we can't get it to uh give me that exact issue here now these are pretty dead. They've only been charging for a few minutes in this and let's see if it... Yeah, and it did. So those aren't charged batteries. It was just charging, but as soon as I pulled it out, we can see it immediately went green. And when it's done charging, it switches from charge to say, okay. And so that's really what makes this charger frustrating and not very useful for standard rechargeable batteries is the fact that it has extremely sensitive, extremely low voltage thresholds so it won't cause fires. The problem with that is, is it doesn't uh, do a very good job at charging these types of batteries. One of the other issues I've had is it will seem like it's charging and then say 20 minutes later, 30 minutes later, it will say it will turn green. It'll be say it's finished charging just as the voltage comes up a little bit, even though the batteries are only a third charged. It just does not deliver the power properly in order to <laughs> achieve this alkaline mode and so this was just my little review of this Viatech um, thought these were interesting it really is a gimmick to recharge alkaline batteries that you do get a little bit of energy back into them but it's nothing like a nickel metal hydride where you get full recharges hundreds and hundreds if not over a thousand times and then that being said get having this or getting one to to use as a regular battery charger just it doesn't work very well it's also very weak very slow slow charger even in nickel metal hydride mode, I mean, it takes a good couple, three hours just for double A's. If you had large capacity D cell batteries, this thing could probably take all night. So that was kind of just the gist of this Viatech uh, REO2, uh, and I guess online it's REO2G is the part number, Renew It Pro. And when I you know, was doing a quick look up to, before I did the review on this, I was surprised. There's over 100 reviews of this thing on Amazon, and I think... 
a lot of them are artificially high. Not that they're fake reviews. It's just the fact that they're just not knowledgeable people and don't realize exactly how poor of a product they actually ended up with. And when I saw it, it was like three sellers from whatever it was, $78 or something. I just thought that's totally outrageous. You could get a commercial grade 16 bay charger for that kind of money off of Amazon. No joke. Huge old big uh, commercial chargers for charging big mountains of batteries at once. So definitely do not buy it and I just wanted to put a little review out there and and uh, hopefully save somebody some money and a little bit of disappointment. And it'll let you know that recharging alkaline batteries uh, it really is smoke. It's smoke. You really need to get things like nickel metal hydrides and modern nickel metal hydrides are awesome. You know, they're pre-charged. They don't discharge when they're sitting in the drawer for months. They can be recharged, especially if you just attempt to take care of them a little bit. Don't let them bake in the charger for days and don't just regularly top them off, especially when it's a pre-charge. You don't need to worry about topping it off unless you've actually discharged it some and know you need to put some energy back into it. Otherwise, you know, these things are just great. And so a lot of times, you know, people, the issues that they have are with the chargers. So definitely not a recommended item. What is recommended is if you do view and uh, watch my videos, uh, please do subscribe and support the Caddis Maximus channel. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.